Kampala Edge Times. Did it spare? We got it. Hello, welcome to Kampala Edge Times. Once again, it's John Kenny right here, bringing to you another episode of Edge Talks. Uh, I'm right now at uh, Makerere uh, School of Food and Nutrition, uh, the conference hall, where uh, several student leaders have met uh, to have uh, a meeting on uh, on the future of the youth in the country. They have discussed a number of issues uh, uh, regarding social media, regarding jobs, uh, all those issues that uh, uh, relate to young people in the country. Uh, right now is a, a gentleman. His name is uh, Okori Brian. Uh, Mr. Okori Brian, welcome uh, to the show once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right you. Here. I'm happy to be back here. Uh, so much. I'm happy to be here again. I think it's my third time being here. Uh, and today, uh, I think we're discussing the versionary from what we've been discussing previously about students' leadership and the youth that are in the country. Yeah, so uh, currently, uh, Mr. Corey Bryan is contesting for a position uh, in ROSA, that is Rock High Old Schools, uh, Old Students Association. Uh, uh, what position are you uh, standing uh, for? I'm starting for the position of chairperson of ROSA, and that is the epitome of the, the, the topmost position in the association executive. Amazing, amazing. So I would like you to uh, convince these people uh, what are the qualities you possess that you think uh, was voting for for this position that they won't be let down as previously. I think uh, uh, first and foremost, we I want to thank all the old students of Rock High School, uh, the stakeholders out there, the management of Rock High School, and uh, everybody else who cares about Rock High School. I am not going to complain as usual you know, because uh, most importantly, I know that uh, Rosa as an association has been down. Dogs. And now, this new executive that I hope that I can be part of the mandate should survive. I use it, I always use a statement called revitalize. revitalize and give more energy to the association so that it can be more useful to the school. And uh, uh, saying that I should convince people, it, it, it's not going to be about convincing anymore. I think it's been so long that I've never got an effective representation. And this time I'm bringing it with a new approach. And that is basically putting the main stakeholders up front. So that the students of the local school. Maybe if I may ask, uh, what changes do you think are, are going to come into ROSA uh, uh, that are going to probably improve the school? Are we going to see the school improve and uh, top the, uh, the, 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 the lists once again in the country? Or are we just going to focus on the leadership? And eating in the cocoon. I think I think most importantly is uh, Rosa as the foundation body of uh, Roka School. Uh, you know, alumni is provided for an education act, and uh, they're not there by mistake. But also they have a mandate up to where the mandate ends. And I think basically, if given uh, mandate to lead, uh, most importantly is to make sure we liaise with the management. I want to closely have a meeting with the teachers of Roka School, most importantly. And the, and, the, and the entire management to understand what is the problem. Why don't we get the results? Because uh, I'm sure that government doesn't send competence to Rokai. Teachers who are there are very competent. If I may ask you, yes. uh, according to you, what is the position? Uh, what is your comment about Rokai School State right now? What is the state of Rokai School right now? I think now? my comment on Rokai School State is that we are badly off. In we are no sense. longer, in the sense that we are no longer recognized as a great school everywhere. You know, we've been climbing to the top, but we'll never reach the top. And I think, I think when we when we reach the top, one time we should change the, the motto of the school. So, so, so when we continue saying we are climbing and climbing to the top, when are reaching to the top? So I think uh, Rokai now is down, and everybody else can testify to that. That has been uh, led by the previous poor management of the poor head of, of, the, of the previous head teacher. Who, who, who turned down the school into his personal property and never prioritized the stakeholders in there, never prioritized the school at all. But again, I am saying that alumni won't come to change all this. I am specifically saying that we should respect our mandate. We represent the old students who also have a say. And this say cannot entirely change everything, but you can always put up policies and recommendations to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the administration to make sure that these things are changed. All right. I, I think uh, we also have audience who are uh, outside Rock High. Uh, thank you for that uh, uh, that message you've given to uh, our audience about uh, Rock High School and your initiative. Uh, and I, I do wish you good luck in uh, 
uh, this coming election. Uh, although I won't be there, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also an old student of uh, Rock High School. Uh, however, um, we have been, uh, I've been here with Mr. Okori Brian attending uh, uh, the conference of students. Uh, what is the, the name of the conference? It's International Youth Conference. We have uh, called uh, students leaders all over the country to come and share uh, different moments on, on the political atmosphere, on the future of the, of the youth of Africa, and different topics. That's why you have seen we have the National Youth, uh, Female Youth Member of Parliament. We are expect, expecting the, the, the Minister of ICT in a few. We expect the Secretary of NRM in a few, but I think he is going to be on Zoom or something. We expect that this is the, 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 the President uh, General of uh, the Democratic Party, Robert Mao. And all the same, I want to talk to the young people. That's what has been lacking. We need to talk to these people to inform them that the next biggest thing that this country can have. Uh, if I may ask, do you think these people who we expect to come anytime from now, uh, as we talk, it's already two o'clock. Uh, do you expect that these people are going to uh, impart these suggestions into the government? For instance, I heard about someone complaining on Facebook uh, being blocked uh, in the country. Do you think that there is a change that's going to happen? Because as far as we know, uh, uh, the leadership of this country is rigid. It has its own uh, uh, intentions as it, as it, it leads the country. I think these people are coming to discuss around what is being discussed already. If uh, the issue of Facebook has been highlighted, I have said that the Minister of ICT is going to be here. And uh, most importantly, is, uh, I have a very diversionary mind over the issue of Facebook. I think mine is that we can empower. Uh, we have a lot of IT students in here. We, you, you know China, they don't use Facebook, they don't use WhatsApp, they have WeChat and the rest. So I think if we can uh, empower our IT uh, people out there to develop independent uh, social media platform that we can use, that would be the everlasting. Uh, again, you cannot blame the government on why they block Facebook. Maybe it is issues of security threat or something. But again, since we still don't have an alternative now, I would recommend that it's open. Since the minister is coming, I hope that he will note this, and that's under his token, and maybe ask the president to revise his measure on saying that Facebook should be blocked in the country. But either way, people are using Facebook, so it's not that it's more expensive, but there's nothing that blocks it entirely. So I think it's open the economy, open the social media, open the social life, open everything, not open something that blocks some things. That's amazing. Thank you so much for this powerful words, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are so glad to have Mr. Corey Bryan here. He has been a regular guest uh, uh, on, on Kampala. At times, this is our, our Tamale Mirundi here. Uh, no, I uh, uh, Anyway. <laughs> Uh, thank you for tuning in to Kampala at Times. Uh, Mr. Corey Bryan, you can give your final words to our audience. I think thank you so much. Uh, the entire day was supposed to speak about the, the, the revising of Rock High School. But uh, it's, it's fortunate enough that we, we had to engage on top with the, with the National Youth Conference around because it's a very nice topic for the young people as well. I want to ask all the students of Rock High School to turn out in big numbers to come and vote on the list of uh, February 2022. It is your time. The former students of Rock High School, I repeat, come and vote for the leaders you feel are going to represent you to better heights. So again, at that time, uh, we will always be here to talk to you and to make sure that uh, things that, uh, that matter to the young people and the students of this country. You know, I'm an, uh, I'm an activist in the students, the students line and the youth, so we will always keep coming back to talk to them again. Thank you. Uh, with me, I have another uh, guest with me. Uh, her name is Hiram. Uh, welcome aboard, Madam. Uh, my name is Hayrat Badri, the Vice President of Islamic University in Uganda, Finals Campus, Kamoja. And it's been a great honor for me to be part of the National Youth Conference that was organized at Macquarie University, uh, basically uh, fostering youth about economic development, uh, rule of law, uh, and among other different things. And we've had uh, quite a good number of speakers in the house. Wow. Uh, I, I am so glad to meet you, Madam Hyatt. Uh My name is John Kenny from Kampala Edge Times, uh, the number one YouTube magazine in Uganda. So we would like to find out what topics have been discussed in this meeting. Our various topics have been discussed from the different panelists. For example, they've talked of economic development, uh, basically looking at that, the youth 
since uh, the biggest percentage of the country is made up of the youth, so I feel they find it so I feel they find it so relevant to speak to us about how best our futures are going to be as regards the economic development of the country. Then they've talked about the rule of law. How are we? You know, we are youths. At some point, we go contrary to what the government expects out of us. We riot, we strike in different ways. So they have been teaching us of the rule of law. We as leaders, it's upon us to go back to tell the society we lead what we've learned from the conference, so that they can adhere to it, so that they don't fall. Victim. If I may chip in, uh, you're talking about rule of law. Does rule of law really work very well in this country? As in. Uh, if you don't have certain qualifications or you're not connected to certain people, rarely does that work. Otherwise, people would be suing MPs for not fulfilling their pledges. How uh, is someone supposed to use the rule of law out there? The layman. Uh, apparently, as a layman, how best can you use the rule of law? You know, we want it, I want to attribute it to the political side. I don't want to go to that side, it is well. you know, but individually when you face something or when you are uh, victimized about something, of course the law has to work, not just the politicians, because we see the domestic violence, it's not done by the politicians, it's done by the law individuals, so the rule of law works. Right? Okay. Uh, what else was uh, discussed? Uh, 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 basically, we've had a, a chance to interact with the national youth, you know, and she has talked of what they have in their offerings for us, the youth, and she has, basically, different people are giving their suggestions about the unemployment of the youth, and in the group that so they're having, they're planning on how they're going to work upon ensuring that youth in Uganda actually are uh, employed, uh, okay, how best can they employ themselves, because this country is so unique, and we are facing each other that old people don't want to leave the spaces so as they are one to one to occupy. So the best we can do not to clash with the old people is uh, becoming important, becoming so great so that we can wait for that time when these people come and then we occupy before that city. That's that's one big point. Uh, young people out there, I think you heard that. Uh, instead of fighting for positions with uh, uh, people who are being in these offices, veterans, uh, you know, incumbents, and all those sorts of people, you can just create your own thing. Uh, uh, as you've had uh, Hajat Hirat, if I got that name correctly, yes, Hajat Hirat has told us that you have to be innovative, create stuff, uh, do what your hands can do. Uh, uh, probably you'll get somewhere or you could become a boss who really knows. Thank you so much uh, for turning up for this show. Uh, I'm so grateful for having hosted you. Uh, give them some final words from you. Uh, to the youths who are watching this show, I actually uh, call you upon to be more creative, to be more innovative. The world we are living in is looking for people who are more creative. We won't wait for people to employ us when we are seated back. Better employ yourself. Do something little. You may never know what God has prepared for you. You may start like a bid, you know, a bid shop, and then you become somebody. So be an objective and be Well, thank you so very much. This uh, has been an amazing uh, uh, talk show with you. I, th I hope we did cross into your time. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so grateful. Uh, that has been uh, Hajat Hayrat, uh, the Guild President of IUIU. Uh, all right, thank you so much for those amazing words. Thank you so much, uh, dear audience, for uh, turning into uh, tuning into Kampala Edge Times. Uh, you always should keep it locked. We shall have uh, an article about this interview on the Kampala Edge Times magazine. You'll go ahead and read in case you, you probably don't have uh, the data uh, to, to watch the whole video. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I think I wish you a beautiful time ahead. Kampala Edge Times. Did it spell? We got it.